Hey guys, this is Peter and this is my 2002 Toyota Camry. It's a very good car. In fact, this car is just a beast. Uh, we've had it for years and years. The kids like driving it when they come home from school, but well, the paint's kind of given up. So everyone's fighting not to drive this car anymore because it doesn't look that great. Well, if I could just paint it a little bit better, I think we can give it new life again. And in fact, I did just that. And I had such a good experience with it, I thought I'd share it with you. I see this is a common problem all over. And this is how it looked before. And this is how it looked afterwards. And I gotta say, I spent minimal and I was very happy with the results. So let me just show you where I found it and take you through how I did it. All right, so I knew I wanted to spray paint my car, but I didn't know where to look find the right color. So I hit, I hit the web and started searching and I fell on this site. AutomotiveTouchUp.com uh, is, is the spot. And look, if you put in your year, make and model, they'll actually sell you an aerosol can, a spray paint can of the right color. You can also get it in a brush bottle and paint uh, pens in case you have a smaller thing or even a larger project if you have a sprayer they'll sell you a larger quantity to spray the whole car let's give it a shot so all I have to do is put in the year of my car and it was a 2002 it's a Toyota and it's a Camry so very common car but look at all these different color codes so now it wants you to know which color code you have and I wasn't really sure but they let you know that if you don't know there is a sticker on your car and it's in the door jam and guess what I found it and here's mine and I would have never guessed it but mine is an 8Q0 which is way down here who would have ever guessed that it was a stratosphere mica so it also let me know that the Toyota uses a two paint system in the fact that uh, it is the, the base coat as well as the clear coat so I decided if I'm going to do a base coat and clear coat, let's sand it down, let's do it right, and let's go ahead and get the primer as well. So I got all three of those. In fact, I got four bottles and they sent it to me. Hey, if you spend a little bit more, which I should have done, I had no idea how much paint this would take or what, what have you. But if you spend $149.99 or above, $150, bucks, it's free shipping. So that would have been great because I used one can on the hood alone. So uh, that would have been great. And... Uh, realistically you want a a lot of the clear coat as well to get just the right look but I gotta say even though I had no experience whatsoever I was really happy with the results let me just take you through it let's take a look all right this has been a really good car it's a 2002 Toyota Camry but as you can see the paint is a bit off it's uh, you know lost its clear coat and it's lost its sheen I wanted to see if I can get <laughs> something that comes close to matching because look it's all so damaged across the top the kids don't even want to drive this anymore they think it looks a little bit too much like a hoopty okay well here it is i pulled off all of the clear coat using a scraper got a little bit left right here just really get in there with the blade and literally just pull it up oh, the scraper would stay out that would be nice there, it literally just comes up. It was a little bit of a project, but you know, when it's 20 years old like this, it just kind of comes up. So, uh, doing the best that I can, then I'm smoothing it out. It's the sandpaper. I do have an orbital sander. Went a little heavy on the grit. Probably didn't need to go that high, but you know, I have no special skills here. I decided to rough these up. I'm gonna paint right over them. Maybe I'll paint tape right there so the hole doesn't get plugged up. But uh, I think I'm just going to sweep back and forth. You know, it didn't look, <laughs> it looks pretty bad now, but it's actually looking better in my eyes because there's a chance it's going to hold some paint here and look, look much better. I have no real painting skills. In fact, it's a spray can and I'm just hoping for it to look a lot better. I'm going to mask all this off and hit it up. So I had to go a little bit further, but it's pretty much down to, uh, to metal now. Well, at least to the old primer. I'm gonna wipe this clean with some uh, rubbing alcohol, and then we're gonna put the base coat on it, or the primer coat. See what that looks like. All right, well I hit it up with some isopropyl alcohol, dry it off a little bit. I'm gonna mask this off, and uh, hit it with some, uh, this feels so smooth now. 
before it felt like surface of the moon. But you know, it's a 21 year old car. So uh, I think it's looking pretty good actually. Here's what we got. We got a sandable primer. We got two cans of base coat that match my car. And this, uh, this gloss clear coat to put on afterwards. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. Let's see how she looks. All right, I hit it with another coat of primer, just uh, just for fun, really, kind of get the feel for the, the painting thing. I don't have it 100% coverage, but I think it's pretty cool. And they say you can sand it and all sorts of other things. Thousand grit sandpaper, I'm just using my hand and rubbing it on there. Feels pretty darn good. I just want to see how the paint looks on it. I was, just to set the project priorities, I was going to go down to Home Depot and just buy the closest paint I could. Getting real paint is really a treat. So uh, this will be kind of neat. And then with the clear coat, it's kind of way overkill. This car has, two, you know, 180,000 miles on it. But uh, hey, if it looks good again and it's uh, looking presentable, I see no reason not to drive it. All right. I know some people are going to want to see some technique. This is the wrong video to come to you for that. But I am going to show you what it's like to uh, well, spray paint this. I was just going to grab a can from Home Depot, as close as I could. But uh, I saw this online and thought, you know what, if I can match the color, I might even try. So I'm going to try my best, giving this a go. This car has 180,000 miles on it in 21 years. Drives like a champion, but it was just looking a little rough. So I'm going to try to add a little paint to it and see what we can do. Where to put that paint? Where's my luck? All right, so here's the deal. I uh, added another coat and I sanded it down with a 2000 grit sandpaper, which is Basically, you need a quarter sheet to sand the car twice. It's almost rubbing it with nothing. Uh, and then I painted it again and rubbed it down one more time. It looks great. It just, um, it looks dull. So I'm really hoping that the, the clear coat gives it that wet look. Because when I just washed it down and it was wet, it looks phenomenal. So I'm hoping it keeps that wet look when it gets, uh, well, when it gets sprayed with the clear coat. Let's give it a shot. It's still drying and it looks a little bit more matte, but I think it's great. I mean, it's so much better than what I had before and it blends in really super nicely. I had a little tape issue right there. I don't know if you can see that. Is that on camera? Yeah, it is. But uh, no, this is, a, this is a 2002 car and this keeps it from being a total junker. It makes it quite easy to drive now. I see a little bit of wetness up there still. That's okay. It's going to turn out pretty nicely. The color match is pretty darn good. I don't know if it's 100%, but it might dry out that way. Pretty darn cool. There you go. All right, well, here's the end result. I'm pretty darn happy with it. You can see it rained on it. Um, it's slightly more matte, and I think I want to add a little more clear coat to it, but I got to say, I am off the charts happy with this. Definitely worth the $88, including shipping that it took me to send those four bottles to me. I am thrilled. I can't wait to do the roof and then the, the trunk lid uh, and just get it looking nice again. I, hey, this car is ready to drive. Always, guys, hey, thanks for, for watching. I will put a link to this down below. It helps out my channel if you do follow the link. And um, let me know how it goes for you. See you in the next one. Talk to you soon.